Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source where we are red hot. 18 units plus 18 units in the NBA in the month of March, just eight days. Holy shit. But like I said in the last video, I'm not done yet. At least I hope I'm not done. We'll see. Loaded slate tonight. In this video, we're talking Rockets versus Lakers, taking a trip out west. Let's do it. Welcome to the source. Get this to us. All right, LA on the road here in Houston. The line is Rockets plus four, and all the early action is on the Lakers. I'm talking 91% of the money on the Lakers as of 4 a.m. this morning. Yo, check out the line movement here. The book's definitely reacting to the Lakers' money. We're at four, then we're at four and a half. We're now up to Houston plus five as of around 11.30 a.m. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers to the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Houston minus 4.96. So another huge lean from our spreadsheet. 10 point lean on the Rockets. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown. We got both of these teams coming off tough losses. Uh, Lakers beat Golden State and then went into San Antonio last minute. LeBron James was ruled out, so they played without LeBron. Still almost pulled out the win on the road. Uh, Westbrook was really bad in that game. I'm, a, I'm not a Westbrook hater, but he was bad in that game. Um, on the other side, Houston coming off a blowout loss in Miami. So which one of these teams rebounds off the loss better? Now, as soon as I open up the analytics for these two teams, one mismatch jumped right out at me, hit me right in the face. As we know, the Houston Rockets love to take a lot of threes since the All-Star break. They're second in the NBA in three-point frequency, and they've actually been top two or three this whole season. This team's very reliant on the three-point shot. Want to know how the Lakers have been defensively against the three-point shot? Absolutely awful. Opponents since the All-Star break are shooting 41.9% from three. That's 28th in the NBA. Yeah, this Rockets offense could be a mismatch from hell for the Lakers defensively. Now, here's some good news for the Lakers. Number one, even though the Rockets take a lot of threes, they're second in the NBA in, in three-point frequency, they really haven't been hitting lately. In fact, since the All-Star break, they're shooting just 34.5% from three. Not a threatening number at all. Number two. Number two, the Rockets defense specifically under the basket, terrible. Since the All-Star break, 26th in the NBA in defensive shot frequency at the rim, 22nd in defensive efficiency at the rim. What that means is teams are attacking the rim on Houston all day, taking a ton of shots at the rim on the Houston defense, and they're also making them at a high clip. So teams are attacking the basket and scoring at a high rate on the Rockets under the rim. That is music to the Los Angeles Lakers ears, cause say what you want, Russell Westbrook clearly passed his prime. LeBron James starting to show his age for sure. One thing both these guys can still do at a pretty elite level is get to the basket and I don't think Houston's gonna be able to stop it. Which is why I'm going to be siding with the heavy public here, which you know I hate. You know I wanna go sharp and take Houston plus five, but I can't do it. Give me the Lake Show, man. Give me the Los Angeles Lakers minus five. This will be on the final ticket. Final ticket posted on kylekerms.com around five o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I'll have my bet of the day. We're going top seven bets tonight. Two parlays of the day, as well as every single pick for the NBA and every single sport also. Posted around on kylekerms.com, five o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely keep you posted on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bets. NBA Wednesday, we are scorching hot, but I want more units. Let's stay in the green. Let's have a big money night. I'll talk to you on Twitter.